We have seven times 10 to the fifth over two times 10 to the negative two times 2.5 times 10 to the ninth. So let's try to simplify this a little bit. And I'll start off by trying to simplify this denominator here. So the numerator is just seven times 10 to the fifth. And the denominator, I just have a bunch of numbers that are being multiplied times each other. So I can do it in any order. So let me swap the order. So I'm going to do it two, it's over two times 2.5. 2.5 times 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the ninth times 10 to the ninth. And this is going to be equal to, so the numerator I haven't changed yet, 7 times 10 to the fifth over, over, and here in the denominator, 2 times, let me do this in a new color now, 2 times 2.5 is 5. And then 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the ninth. When you multiply two numbers that, that are being raised to exponents and they have the exact same base, so it's 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the negative 9, we can add the exponents. So this is going to be 10 to the 9 minus 2 or 10 to the 7th. So times 10 to the 7th. And now we can view this as being equal to, this is being equal to 7 over 5, 7 over 5 times 10 to the fifth over 10 to the seventh. Times 10 to the fifth, 10 to the fifth over 10 to the seventh. 10 to the seventh, let me do that in that orange color to keep track of the colors. 10 to the seventh. Now what is seven divided by five? Seven divided by five is equal to, let's see, it's one and two fifths or 1.4. So I'll just write it as 1.4. And then 10 to the fifth, divided by 10 to the seventh. So that's going to be the same thing as, and there's two ways to view this. You could view this as 10 to the fifth times 10 to the negative seven. You add the exponents, you get 10 to the negative two. Or you say, hey look, I have, I'm dividing this by this. We have the same base, we can subtract exponents. So it's gonna be 10 to the five minus seven, which is 10 to the negative two. So this part right over here is going to simplify to times 10 to the negative two. Now, are we done? Have we written what we have here in scientific notation? It looks like we have. This value right over here is greater than or equal to one, but it is less than, it is less than, or it's less than or equal to nine. It's a digit between one and nine, including one and nine. And we have, and it's being multiplied by 10 to some power. So this is, it looks like we're done. This simplified to 1.4 times 10 to the negative two.